Oh, just a kind of, I've never, I don't think I've really ever done an update before, but um, just to kind of let you know that um, uh, I've not long got out of hospital. It's, um, it's almost seven o'clock on Wednesday. I don't know what the date is. Hang on. Um, 17th, so I couldn't see the words on the mobile phone. Um, yeah, uh, on the Monday, obviously, which is before today, so I'm still a bit of a, um, I, I went to a meeting at my children's school, which, um, I remember bits about it, it, it went quite well, actually, and, uh, it's been really hot around here, uh, I expect it's been hot in most of the world, I expect, um, because friends in, in the USA that I've got been complaining it's hot over there too but they get it hotter than us but I think uh, Monday was the hottest I'd ever experienced it in a long time but anyway um, yeah I think uh, while I was there now I don't remember everything just bits little bits that don't make any sense so I can't really tell you what happened but all that I know from the information that I gathered from other people and um, from my family was that um, yeah I, I, um, I had a seizure while I was there full tonic clonic seizure I bit my tongue that was quite bad it's not so bad now it still hurts um, I don't even know if you could see it actually anyway um, yeah then I think not, I'm not sure exactly, but I think within a short space of time I went into another one. <clears throat> then I had some more, and I'm not sure if it was five or six in total. I have no idea. Um, one person tells me one thing, another person tells me another. And I was admitted to hospital after having drugs given to me at the scene. Um, yeah, so obviously I'd gone into status by then. And when I got to the hospital, they did all what they had to do whatever that is. I mean, I don't know, because I wasn't even awake. Um, yeah, and basically I've got no real memory of what, what actually happened, but I woke up the next day a bit to find myself on a ward, and I was quite annoyed, actually, because normally I like to go home straight away, because um, if it's one seizure, I can cope with that. I can get home, sleep it off, and I'll be okay, but obviously I couldn't. I couldn't even get up. Um, and all I did all day was sleep and this morning um, I didn't really eat anything yesterday either because I was just too tired and my, I wasn't hungry but today I wasn't really that much hungry either but I did eat so I need my strength um, yeah and I was finally allowed to leave which is like now <coughs> but I still kept sleeping in the morning and it's still really hot here I was reading my notes, which are, I can't show you all of it, but it's NHS. So, um, but basically when I came in, I was admitted to the higher monitoring unit. I don't know what that is. It's why everything's still a bit blurry. Um, yeah, brought into emergency department at the, the following several seizures. Um, it says something on examination, it says a number of things which are normal, well not normal but normally what they say. But one of them says uh, globally reduced tone in all limbs, I don't know what that means. And um, GCS was three. And then it went up to five I think, intermittently. I suppose that was where perhaps I was trying to come round, I don't know. Yeah and then um, it's just got past history which is boring um, then I improved overnight to apparently 13 over 15 GCS and then I was reviewed and then today I was allowed to come home so yeah and it's just got I should just carry on taking my tablets as normal really yeah um, yeah, doctors are quite nice actually. Sometimes you get mean doctors and they're really mean to you, but this doctor actually is quite nice. 
But other than that, I'm absolutely shattered. I had to try and find somebody to bring me home because my middle daughter, she was brilliant, she has my children if I, anything like this happens. And um, they stay with her, but unfortunately, because she lives some distance away, they, have, they had to come go to school by taxi. Um, yeah, which obviously costs a lot of money. Um, and obviously something I wouldn't normally um, um, do uh, to spend on taxi. They've got bus passes normally, but coming from where she lives into Reading to school would be quite a big, big chunk out of their time. They'd probably be shattered. Yeah, while I was in the hospital, um, the children are fine, by the way. They are absolutely fine. I think they like going to stay with her anyway, because um, she cooks better than I do. <laughs> yeah. Ever since my accident four years ago, um, cooking's got really bad. But um, yeah, I'll show you what they've done to me. They did, they've been mean. I think because they can't find veins really that can take take injections. But um, they tried. I think they've tried there several times there and they tried there but that one so that's where my watch strap has been there um they tried there and i don't think that one stayed in very long and then they didn't actually try the front of that wrist normally they do but they did the front of that wrist and they did they tried there just there but that didn't work i think my veins just kind of see the needle coming and run and hide so it's probably really difficult for them to administer drugs but they did manage to get some in that one there so that's a bit further down from there but they managed to get the needle in there and administer the drugs and uh, they gave me phenytoin i ate phenytoin Ugh. but anyway um and they also gave did um a femoral artery whatever that means but basically in my groin and I'm not showing you that one <laughs> and um, yeah they gave me they did lots of um, the heart monitor things I've got, I've got one there still sticky I've got to get that off I'm gonna go and jump in the shower in a minute and I've got another one there I had some further down around my uh, waist and under my chest and a couple on my lower legs as well I suppose that's just to make sure I'm still functioning. Um, yeah, and then I've got bite marks, not just that way, not just there, but there as well. So they're not nice. I obviously bit both sides and it's still sore, so that means no chocolate for a week. Um, do you know what there is? Oh, yeah. I woke up yesterday and both my ears really hurt like mad I just drew my hair back because my hair was a mess yesterday because obviously I wasn't able to wash it but my ear lobes ah oh, they'd obviously been pinching them to get response which is where they like my GCS gluco uh, something Glasgow coma scale or something to tell what level of consciousness you're at um, obviously it was quite low because I didn't feel that or that, that one and then they also, I got um, like sore shoulders as well, which they'd obviously been pinching there too. But um, yeah, it's no fun having epilepsy. Don't like it at all. I don't like, I mean, I don't often go into status, not normally. But because this happened again and there's no apparent reason, I think it was the heat. But then again, saying that, I missed my tablets about two days ago. But I've done that before two days ended up with a few bloopy ones not big ones but just bloopy ones and then been okay but this time I don't know if that had the knock-on effect of having full-blown one or whether it was the heat or whether it was the heat and the missing it was only one dose it was an evening dose and those are the ones that normally I miss if anything because sometimes I, I, I fall asleep and I forget them um, but there's no no foolproof way of making sure that I actually take them. The kids are normally quite good at reminding me, but I can't rely on them always because um, that's not fair. Um, but yeah, it just means now that I have another EEG. 
My hair is going to be full of this stuff by the time they finish. While I was in the hospital as well, they did a CT scan, um, CAT scan. I think, I'm not sure when, when that was exactly. I think that might have been the first, the first day I was admitted. But um, I remember pointing out to the doctor today when he came to see me before they discharged me that I had a fracture here and it had been there for four years and four years is since my accident and it was only discovered in March. March was when I went for a dental x-ray because I still get problems with my jaw sometimes from the accident and they happened to just have that all that whole picture and in that picture was the the fracture and it's quite obvious as well it's quite a nice VW sort of zigzag um, crack and it's quite um well on the f on the picture on the x-ray it looks quite wide and uh the the dentist then asked me have you been getting visual problems since and i said yes i've been having visual problems for four years but nobody seemed to take me seriously like i was imagining it or something post-traumatic <laughs> but now obviously it's um it's not just that but i've been having um things done to help resolve the visual problems but that might actually shed more light on um, what's been going on with the other problems that I've got like with my balance and um, a few other things my eye, eye hand eye coordination sometimes you know, it should be quite helpful if it does but then it's just finding the right doctor that helps deal with that sort of stuff um, yeah the doctor said well it must have you must have taken some whack to get that kind of fracture because that's not easily come by and I did tell him, well, I was thrown up and over the bonnet of a transit van. Not a small transit van, it was a sort of middle-sized transit van. Yeah, so, um, hopefully that, instead of, ah, oh, doctors just irritate me sometimes. They write down what they think and that's that. But hopefully now, um, now this has all been discovered, they'll be looking into things a bit more depth and then giving me some more stability not just with the seizures but with all the other things that have been going on ever since that have not been resolved. It's quite frustrating living my life like this. Not knowing what doctor to see, not knowing who to ask for help, going back to my GP because I still can't see properly and I still walk into the things and I still overbalance and still fall over. But hopefully now, hopefully, yeah, get things sorted out. <coughs> But I hope to put some more fun videos up on the, on um, YouTube soon. I've got a few on my camera, but to be honest, I'm a bit too tired at the moment to to do them. So you just have to wait a few days. They're already on the um, SD card. It's just a matter of me preparing them, really. Uh, I hope you like the latest one. Uh, that was quite funny. That was hard work, but that was quite funny. Me and my son both own that video. It's on my son's channel as well. Yeah, he's quite proud of it. And I am too. And do you know what? When I woke up in the hospital, the first thing that came into my head, apart from where am I? Oh my goodness, I uh, can't get out of here. The first thing that came into my head was that tune. <sighs> the amount of times I had to listen to that to... Uh, to sort of know what movements we should do, even though it was still random, um, what movements we should do for the video. Considering I couldn't see what I was doing, my son couldn't see what I was doing, we had to trust each other on what was going on. It was, um, it turned out pretty good, I think, for a first try. And we've got plans for more. So, um, yeah, honey do, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh, it still won't go out of my brain. <laughs> That's probably what set it off. <laughs> no, I'm only joking. I don't want my son to feel upset about that. I don't think it was that that set it off. <laughs> so anyway, I'll catch up with you all soon and hopefully post some more fun videos soon rather than doom and gloom and epilepsy. <laughs> okay, bye.